Judge, you have a question about some of the comments you made uh, by some of the Republican members about building uh, walls and uh, how, how that uh, kind of it's, it's, it's shifts the, prob uh, the problem somewhere else. Can you elaborate on some right. of those comments? You know, the, the approach to immigration and to drug trafficking by um, the federal government, I think, has been ineffective. And it's been an ineffective and expensive. So instead of policies that evaluate um, the drug trafficking and the insatiable appetite that Americans have for illegal drugs, we build a wall. And we build a wall where we're pushing the border crossers, 85% of whom, 85% by, by what was admitted here in testimony, 85% of whom are not criminals. 85% of whom are wanting to come and find work in American companies, American jobs that lure people here. And so they're just getting pushed out to more dangerous, treacherous crossings or building tunnels or th there's, there's always a way around a wall, under a wall, above a wall. So how do you get to the root problem of immigration? There's immigration, that economic migration, there's drug trafficking, um, you can get to it through policy. Do you support any kind of infrastructure to uh, deal with uh, border security? You know, I deal with smarter, more technologically advanced, um, or I support smarter, more techn technologically advanced ports of entry. Um, the vast majority of the illegal drugs are coming across our ports. And so if that's where the vast majority of drug trafficking is happening, why are we expending so many resources not on our ports. Judge Escobar said that uh, building walls would only shift the problem somewhere else and that we should uh, modernize ports of entries instead. Uh, what is your reaction to it? I'm all for modernizing ports of entry, but absolutely, we heard testimony here today from the other sheriffs who were in agreement with me that uh, border fencing actually works with the proper enforcement. You have to have surveillance. You have to have cameras, infrared at night. You have to have lighting in the key areas that have a historic proven history of border crossings. That's not all the border. And literally even, and I'm going to give a, a high five to President Bill Clinton because he's the one who initially signed the bill to build the double barrier fence and approximately 700 miles of barrier on our 2,000 mile border. So it's not the whole border. And this, this, this whole debate that we had here today was excellent because it showed there's not uniform impact in terms of crime and violence and safety, right? That's what we heard. And it, it actually gives further credence to the solution. We have to have uniform enforcement, uniform barriers, uniform, you break the law, you're going to be prosecuted. We saw the UCRs, uniform crime statistics from the FBI, saying that violent crime in San Diego dropped by 52%. That's, that's proof there. We saw the proof down in Yuma where I served as a commanding officer there and we had built double barrier fence in just the key areas where there's built upper urban areas and it's not militarizing the border. The soldiers, the airmen who would be there are armed, are a show of force and they're there for a period of time until you can build the necessary infrastructure that can sustain these long-term improvements.